just inspecting my fingerprint. Have you ever seen your fingerprint zoomed all the way in? I was trying to use lots of silly things to try to see it better. It's really hard to see with just your eyes. I tried using a magnifying glass. I tried using a light. I even used these silly glasses and it still didn't help. But do you want to see it zoomed all the way in? Let's take a look. Did you see all of those patterns? Did you know no one else has your same pattern? God made us so special and he was very specific when he made you. And we get to learn how special we are today. But before we start, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for making us so special and so unique. I pray that our lesson today reminds us of how much you love and care for us that you made each of us in a special way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, heroes, let the fun begin. Bye. Open my eyes so I can see. For me, hey, oh, hey, oh. open my eyes so I can be hey, oh, hey, oh. all that you have planned for me. Head up, head down, hey, oh, hey, oh. arms to the sky, arms to the ground. Hello, Hope City Heroes, it's Teacher Carol. I am so happy you've joined us today. I have a very special challenge for you. What you're gonna need are four cups of water, a ping pong ball, and a straw. And the object of this challenge is to use your straw to blow the ping pong ball from one cup to the other. You think you can do it, heroes? Well, I'm gonna give it my best shot. So, we have one minute to do it, and the clock starts now. Okay. Wow, I 
did it. I can't believe it. That was so much fun. And we still have some time left on our clock. How about you heroes? Why don't you give it a try? It's a lot of fun. And I look forward to seeing you all. I miss you so much. Until next time, heroes. Bye-bye. Hey, Up City Heroes, it's Teacher D, and it's time for a hero highlight. Do you know what the word unique means? I mean, I'm sure you've heard that word plenty of times, but have you actually thought about the definition? Well, being unique is having no equal, being different, being the one and only of its kind. Did you know that you are unique? That's right, God only made one of you. There is nobody else in this world that is like you. You can take a look at your fingers. What do you see? That's right, they're fingerprints. We each have our own set of fingerprints that identifies who we are that matches nobody else. Our fingerprints are incredible. It is so awesome to know that even if you were to damage your fingerprints, your skin would produce the cells and recreate the exact same fingerprint all over again. Your fingers begin to develop your fingerprints and set in stone from the moment that you were in your mom's tummy and they continue to stay the same, they just get a little bigger as you continue to grow. Now, let's go back to talk about why we are so unique. We are incredibly made in God's image. Did you know that God knows us in and out? He knows even how many hairs on our head there is. Do you think you can count all of them? That is a lot. Let's see. Yeah, no, that's too much. I, it would take me forever to count all of my hair. I mentioned how we are incredibly made in God's image. If you look back in the book of Genesis, you could see where God created Adam. God molded Adam. He personally designed him. Let's think about what incredible means. We use the word incredible when we're describing something that's extraordinary, something that is just so impossible to believe and we're like, oh my goodness, this is incredible. Well, that's exactly the word that comes to mind when I think about our creator and his creation, how I was incredibly made in his image. He loved me that much to personally take his time and mold me and create me down to my toes, to my hands, and my heart. If you look closely, the word incredible has the word credible in it. Incredible means to make something believable. When we live our life incredibly in Jesus, we make God be credible to others. We allow others to see God in us. So that means when we show patience to somebody, when we show grace, when we show forgiveness, when we show love, we are being a reflection of who our creator is. I want you to always remember this. God has a plan for your life. He has a purpose. He's always had a purpose from the very beginning to bring you into this world. He knew that this world was going to need more heroes like you to be a reflection of who he is and to let others know and to bring others to Jesus. God has chosen you. He has created you. He has adopted you into his family. I want to share this verse with you that can be found in Psalms 139, verse 14. And it says, I praise you because I was fearfully and wonderfully made. So remember, heroes, keep in mind those three words. Unique, incredible, and credible. Remember, you are unique. There is nobody else like you. You are special. You are incredibly made in God's image. And when we live our lives incredibly in Jesus, we make God credible by having others see Jesus in us. Until next time, heroes. Bye!
City Heroes, what did you guys think of Teacher D's lesson this week? I really hope you guys have so much fun today. Are you guys gonna try the challenge that Teacher Carol showed us? I think I'm gonna go try it. That looks cool. Can you think of something that makes you unique? I was thinking about it too. Something that makes me unique probably would be maybe my hair. Not everybody has red hair. I want you heroes to always remember that God has a purpose for our lives. And no matter what we look like, he will always love us. Can't wait to see what next week's lesson is about. Until next time, bye heroes.